New at 10, they spent years on Missouri's death row for crimes they did not commit. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan spoke with two men who want to change the death penalty. When a fellow inmate was killed at a Missouri Correctional Center, Reggie Griffin, who was serving time for assault, was charged with the crime and sentenced to death. They had the wrong man. And his story is not unique. He and Joseph Amrine talked with Missourians for alternatives to the death penalty today. Amrine was also sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit. I was incarcerated at Jeff City, the walls in 1985. And an inmate came up dead, and I was accused of committing the murder. Today, both men are free, having been exonerated after years of legal battles. Griffin spent 23 years fighting for his freedom from death row, constantly reminded that his days were numbered. They telling you that uh, if your appeals run its course, we're going to kill you. In 2011, his sentence was overturned because prosecutors withheld critical evidence that proved he wasn't involved in the crime. Even though I'm home, I still feel like I lost. Amrine was on death row for 17 years. When he was released from jail, the whole world had changed. When I come out here, they had cell phones, microwaves. Um, it was just a lot of stuff to have when I come out here. They didn't have, they didn't have microwaves when I got locked up. Two men sharing their stories today in the hopes of encouraging change in Missouri. Who are they to say who lives and who dies? They're not God. Griffin says he hopes to try and help stop executions in the state. If you find out after you kill somebody that they actually innocent, but they're going to pump life back in them. I'm Melissa Donovan, 41 Action News. Now, as of 2017, 158 men have been exonerated in the U.S. Missourians for alternatives to the death penalty report Missouri had one execution in 2017 and one new death sentence. The state has scheduled one execution for this year.